Hi and welcome. My name is Loxman. This video is about installing and setting up Plex on DigitalOcean. This is a part of my complete how to series on beginner's guide to Plex. Before this, let me assume that you know what Plex is. It is a web hosting control panel like cPanel which makes our website management job easier. So without further delay, let's get started. So this is the website of Plex and I'm currently on my DigitalOcean account and let's get started by creating a droplet and if you see the uh, navigation bar in this section over here there's a third option called marketplace so we will search for flex over here and there will be two options so you can choose any one of them I'll go with the first one and if you want to see the details you can select here and then I'll just go with the basic plan and let me choose New York server and I'll just go with the root password and I'll just copy it and then I'll leave all of this as it is and if you need to turn on the backup you can do it from here but I don't need it for now and you can assign it to any projects that you have here or you can leave it as it is so now let's create our droplet it might take a while for this progress bar to reach here so you can see the progress bar over here so while this keeps on happening let's go over the Plex website and see what it can do for us so it's a uh, commercial web hosting and uh, server management tool and it's like cPanel if you have used before and if we use Plex with our digital ocean account so we can use uh, the pricing would be free for up to three domains so let me show you what I mean it's, uh, it says here that one click version of Plex on DigitalOcean is free up to three domains and what Plex does for us is is it makes our job of server management very easy and it allows us to install several websites or WordPress applications on our server so in this demo I'll be showing you how you can install several WordPress applications on a single server with Plex so we have just installed our Plex server on our digital ocean droplet so these are the details of our server over here so uh, this is the public IP and if I go to the browser and search so it says that our Plex server has been successfully installed and this is the live URL as you can see and the next step would be to log in into our Plex and then set up uh, the basic thing so uh, there are different options to log in we can do it via SSH or uh, launch the console from here also but what I'll do is I'll just use the browser based uh, login login system over here so let's try logging in uh, since we are logging in for the first time um, it shows uh, the SSL error so we can just accept the rigs and continue because we haven't set up the SSL certificate yet and let me show you the documentation for getting started with Plex uh, it says here it can be ignored for the first time and then we can do it later we can later install let's inscript in SSL and let's go over here uh, sorry this one guy password okay so after you log in it will take us to our admin con uh, setup panel uh, it says here to set up a password for uh, the Plex login so it might take up to two to two to three minutes for this to set up let's wait for a while okay now as you can see 
Plex has been successfully installed and then we have logged in into our system. So there are a few notifications to be looked over and it says here to add domain. So uh, from here I'll be showing you how to add domain in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.